Hey, hey, it's me again. This is video number two of my Sure Fit Designs, How to Style a Blouse. I guess that's what I'll call it. Now, in my last video, I told you I was going to layer a bunch of papers together. So I've got one, two, three, four. So with my original and four sheets underneath it, I'm going to end up with five. Okay? Now, there's something that you absolutely should get if you don't already have it. If you're going to play with all these papers and pens and rulers and drawing and everything, you need to have a rotary cutter. A rotary cutter. Now, I have a table, with it's a folding table with a big mat on it, and they aren't that expensive. And if you're going to sew very much, I would suggest you get one of these tables. They are wonderful. But if you don't have a table like this, you can get one of those green mats that you use with a rotary cutter. The same company, Ulfa, makes them. O-L-F-A. Hancock's has them. Joann's has them. You can order them online. Anyway, I'm going to show you how easy it is to cut this out. Something else you need to get is a quilting ruler. I have 50, 60 quilting rulers, and they're wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. You have to have these to use your blade against so you don't cut your fingers off. And don't laugh, people have done that. One lady ran the thing clear up her arm, if you can imagine. So this is thick. It's a little less than a quarter of an inch. It's got a raised edge. And so you press the rolling blade up against that. Hold it tight, tight, tight. Mine has uh, little sandpaper dots on one side. Hold that down tight. Put pressure on it and roll your little razor blade, move your hand as you go, okay? So there, I just cut all that off. Can you imagine what a pain that would have been with scissors? Now, <clears throat> I'm actually going to cut, let me see, how should I do this? This does not have seam allowances on it yet. So should I cut it out with room for seam allowances or just go back and add them later? Well, if I'm going to be cutting it up and changing it and everything, I better add the seam allowances later, which means I'll have to add some extra paper. But that's the way I'm going to do it. When you do cut these out without seam allowances, make yourself a flashing red light or a giant stop sign or something so you know it doesn't have the seam allowances on it yet, okay? It's just much easier to design something as um, tricky as I'm going to make with... Um, the seam allowance is already on. They're just going to be in the way. Okay? Okay, so now I have just cut all that off. Ta-da! Isn't it wonderful? Rolling razor blade. If you don't have one, please get one if you're going to do much sewing. It's really wonderful. Little pieces I'll throw away. Big pieces I'll save. Uh-oh. Now, I had most of this taped down, but some of it's coming loose now. Oh, and something else you need to get. Let me put some weights on this so it'll stay put. Something else you need to get is, if I could remember for five seconds, oh, my 64-year-old brain. Is that all? Like I told you, I don't know for sure if this is going to work or not. Let me make sure all my papers are still lined up. That one's a little bit off. I taped them all down, but I think I'm... Oh, another thing you need to get is the removable scotch tape. Because you will use it, use it, use it. Okay, I've got that taped down better now. Let me tape down the top piece down better. Because you can remove this and reuse it. Now, it's not going to hold anything permanently. No, no, no. That's why it's removable. Okay, are we all together here? You don't want to mess up your pattern. A tiny boo-boo in your pattern. If you just cut like an eighth inch or a sixteenth of an inch off somewhere, it isn't going to come out right when you sew it together. So, you have to be sure you're cutting this off exactly right. Alright, here's the armhole. I'm going to cut it. Another thing that's good to do when you're drawing these uh, SureFit design patterns is to write down the dot that you used here inside the pattern. I used a 41 dot here, a 40 dot, a 40 dot, a 38 dot, a 40 dot, a 41 dot, a 34 dot, and a 42 dot at the hip. And every time I make a pattern, 
I'm liable to use different darts, different dots, because my weight changes. Sometimes my chest is 42, sometimes it's 41, sometimes it's 40. And when you're cutting out a sure fit design blueprint for knit, you're supposed to go in one or two dots. So some places I go in and some places I don't. I'll cut this out just a little bit closer. We've got something that, there we go. All right, let me pull them all up and see if they look anything alike. Oh my gosh, how fun is this? Now, there's two. Here's three. Here's four. And here's five. Now, how cool is that? See? Five copies. Now, four copies, one original. Of course, of course, I'm going to have to draw the bust dart on and the waist dart on, maybe. But other than that, I'm probably not going to have to do it. I'll mark the apex, mark the bust dot, dart, maybe the straighter grain. But then I'm going to play, 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 and build myself a pattern. And so I'll stop this for number two, and I'll come back for number three. And this is Joy, and it's November the 6th, 2014. Bye for now.